Hey everybody, I wanted to just do a quick unboxing video with you. I ordered some samples that I wanted to show you that for some flooring that I'm potentially putting in our house. So just a little background, we have original hardwood floors through our entire home and that includes our entry porch and our bathroom. Um, so in our entry porch, you can imagine that we uh, get a lot of snow and wet traffic through there and um, gravel and grime. Um, so I've been looking into a product called Luxury Vinyl Tile and you may have heard of this. It's kind of all the rage in design right now. And the reason I looked into this is because it can go over um, existing flooring without putting down a new subfloor. So I can't, it's not in the budget right now to redo the hardwood floors and I want to prevent them from continuing to get damaged more. So um, this product you can also put over tile flooring. So if you have ugly tile, it can go over it. Um, and then in our bathroom, um, when I gutted our bathroom, we exposed original hardwood floors and I originally wanted to refinish them, but I have also since changed my mind and want to try this luxury vinyl tile product. Um, the other thing is they are um, scratch resistant. So um, it's durable and waterproof and all of those great things for a bathroom and entryway. Um, so I wanted to just show you the samples that I got. I asked for um, two different styles that were uh, tile based. So they look like tile. Um, lots of them come in wood grain. So if you don't have wood grain or hardwood floors in your home, um, that could be a very economical option for you to try. Um, this is snap together flooring. There are a couple different choices you can get. The brand that I am using or that I asked for samples for is Mannington. You can see it there <laughs> backwards for you, but there's the info. Um, and here's sample number one. So I didn't want to do the flooring that obviously had the wood grain because we have wood grain everywhere. Um, but I did want to go with a darker tile that looks more like slate. And these are the two that I chose that you can see the detail. Um, they're squishy. There's kind of a squishy back on them. Um, the top is completely scratch resistant. So we do have pets and um, dirty shoes that bring in rocks and all those kinds of things. So scratch resistant. And then also they are um, waterproof, like I mentioned. Um, they do snap together like this. So you can see, obviously these are two different ones, but they easily snap together. You don't have to have a grout line or anything in there. Um, and it prevents your under flooring from being damaged, which, which was my main goal so that eventually I can take it back up and redo our hardwood floors. Um, the other thing is I have heard that these can be torn back up and reused in another room, of course, um, clearly if the cuts match and things like that. Uh, but I do love both of these colors. I'm going to have to set them in each of the rooms and see which one looks best with our woodwork. Our flooring is a little bit lighter, as you can see right here behind me. Um, and then our molding and window trim is slightly darker. So uh, they come in, here's another one that I got. This one has a little bit more of the tan tones in it compared to um, the slate look of the other ones. And then this one's definitely light, lighter. Um, they do come in different sizes. So this option here, I believe was a um, a six inch by 24 inch um, piece of tile. So when you lay it all together, um, you're gonna have long skinny um, pieces. And then this one is square. No, it's not square, I recall. It's um, 12 by 24. So if you have um, a room that you want kind of a big bold feel, you would go with that bigger tile so that it um, appears to be larger. So these would be repeated more often and then these would not. So 
So the nice thing about going with something larger is you have less to lay down. I might go with that option, <laughs> um, depending on which one looks good. So I'll just lay all three of these together. Uh, so if you love them, let me know which one is your favorite. Um, let's see, what do we got here? So I realize this info is going to be backwards, but here's option one, option two, and then option three. So like I said, as you can read on the back of these, it withstands everything. This is the Adura Rigid um, line, and this is the Adura Max line. Um, there is slight differences in them uh, based on what kind of floor you're covering up. But again, waterproof, kid and pet friendly, easily to clean, scratch resistant, it won't fade. Um, indentation resistant, so like if you drop or you're, um, if you drop something on it or if you have something really heavy, it's not gonna indent. And it has true detail styling and then the micro bevel edge, which is what I chose where they snap together and you're not gonna have that big edge. I did contemplate on getting some snap um, tile that was actually real tile that snapped together um, that did require grout lines because I thought they were beautiful, but based on our environment and everything that we have messy around here, uh, that grout line would have been a nightmare. So I really love these. I believe the cost is roughly four to six dollars a square foot. Um, which is completely reasonable when you think about replacing flooring. But again, I just wanted to show you what I got in the mail this morning and um, stay tuned for which one I choose and uh, the final project. So have a good rest of your day.